eight weeks of buildup for a typical mediocre Marvel fight and a boner joke. Boner. What's up everybody, I'm Logan and this is Worldly Reviews, the YouTube channel where I geek out and talk shit. And today I'm going to be talking some shit about WandaVision. Like, yeah, there's things to geek out about, but because of that finale, I'm just... I'm still kind of pissed off. Like eight weeks of buildup for that? And it kills me because the second to last episode was so damn good. But I'm getting ahead of myself, let's start at the beginning. When they announced this show, I really didn't care. I, I, I was like, okay, they're gonna ruin this by doing TV series, they're just trying to do what Star Wars did with Mandalorian. So I had little hope for this, like I was like, I'm probably not gonna like this. But it's Marvel, so I'll give it a chance. And it took me by surprise, those first few episodes were so damn good. I grew up watching black and white TV shows with my grandparents and everything, so I enjoyed it. And what really intrigued me was there was almost like a horror element to it. When the beekeeper comes out of the manhole and everything, and she says no and reverses it, that was a pretty kind of creepy scene. So yeah, it caught my attention and everything, and I really started loving it. I was looking forward to each new episode. It definitely caught me by surprise. I didn't think I was gonna like it, and I ended up loving it. Especially when they brought in Kat Dennings. I love Kat Dennings. I've been a fan of hers ever since I saw her in The House Bunny. So yeah, you put two of my favorite celeb crushes in a show, I'm definitely gonna like it. But then it's revealed that it was Agatha all along, and that shit does not make any sense. Like, she really didn't do anything. Like, that whole song, yeah, it's catchy and everything. It's really cool because it's kind of based off the Munster opening theme song but the only thing Agatha really did was kill Sparky she wasn't controlling minds and everything that was all Wanda it should have been called Wanda all along I mean I was really hoping whenever they did the Agatha all alone like okay she is controlling Wanda and causing all this no she just wanted her powers but still the first eight episodes kept me just so intrigued and wanting more and more and like I want to see how this is going to end and then they're talking about how it's going to tie into the Doctor Strange movie which is entitled The Multiverse of Madness. Multiverse. Disney owns Fox now. Fox had X-Men. Oh shit we got Evan Peters as Quicksilver? Are these multiverses starting to collide? Nope. It was all a fucking boner joke. Boner. I'm still just like, really, seriously, a boner joke. Boner. There's some childish humor throughout the Marvel series, but no boner jokes. Boner. Like, if I want to see a boner joke boner. from a Disney-owned property, I'll watch Family Guy. I guess because Disney owns Family Guy, like, well, maybe we should Peter Griffin this thing up. The ending, it was very emotional. It was. But it didn't make me tear up because when it's revealed that the kids and Vision are just really figments of Wanda's imagination, it kind of just took all emotion I had for those characters away. post credit scene, she hears them calling, so maybe they will be real in the future. I, I don't know. What, what, what are y'all going to do, Marvel? Like, I know y'all have a plan, and I have faith in the plan, but with that finale, I lost some faith. Also, would love to know what happened to the other Vision, the White Vision, because now he has the memories of old Vision, but that's actually his older self, but regardless, he's Vision now. He has the memories, he has the body, like he's our new Vision for the MCU. Couldn't bring him back in Endgame, let's bring him back this way. Which I'm down for that, I really am. Like, I do want to see Vision in the MCU from here on out. I was... Sad to see him go. I still cry when I watch Infinity War whenever he dies. But I don't know. Like, I love the show, but the finale kind of just ruined it for me. But I'll give it a rewatch level 7 out of 10. I would have put it up at a 9 if it wasn't for the damn boner joke. Boner. And screwing us over on Quicksilver. Like the showrunner even said, well, I didn't think that, you know, it, fans would think that it would be a crossover. Really? You didn't think that at all? You have the actor that played Quicksilver in X-Men playing Quicksilver in the MCU. 
That was a big moment. That's what we've been waiting on. But nope, here's a dick joke for y'all. If I don't shut up now, then this video will probably be a half hour long bitching about it. Don't get me wrong, there are things that I do like about this show. Just not the boner joke. Boner. But if you would, hit that like button, drop a comment down in the comment section, share on social media, and subscribe to stay up to date with all the videos I got coming. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Boner.